production of many commonly used medicines could be hit by the end of this month due to the problems with the supply of raw materials. Since the outbreak of coronavirus in China, the supply of active pharmaceutical ingredients or APIs has been disrupted and the pharmaceutical industry is facing the heat. Yes, there is a shortage and not only the shortage has uh, created the problem, the further problem has been aggravated by the panic that has been created because the raw material suppliers are holding and the people who are buying medicines or getting the medi medicines manufactured from manufacturers like us, they are also piling up their stocks. About 70% of APIs in India are imported from China. The rest are manufactured in India, but 80% of the intermediaries needed to produce them are also brought from China. Industry bodies have warned that the pharmaceutical industry is exposed to high risk if the epidemic continues. They specifically told that what are the drugs that were going to be, you know, out of uh, the market by 20th March and 20th April. It is going in that direction. The major problem is with the anti-cancer drugs, similarly the HIV drugs. After that, the anti-diabetics and antibiotics. Although the prices have not gone up so far, but chemists fear that in another few months, the customer will have to bear the burden of higher costs for medicines. If we consider a month, I don't think there would be any impact as drug manufacturers, they have sufficient quantity of raw materials hoarded at their place. And uh, uh, drugs also, we have three to four months inventory in the market. So, but if it prolongs beyond, say, four months, five months, then the situation may uh, be bad. The government has stepped in and has formed a high-level committee to find both short-term and long-term solutions. It has placed pharmaceutical industries under force majeure clauses, freeing pharmaceutical firms from their contractual obligations. This is conclusive evidence that the situation is critical. Ravinder Bhava, CGTN, Delhi.